Lucy, and today I'd like to introduce you to a project created by myself and my design partner Matthew Bona called Props Paper. Props Paper is a newspaper dedicated to the contemporary practice of Im image making in art, design, architecture, science, and beyond. It is one broadsheet newspaper, front and back, featuring the research work of one contributor per issue. We prompt them with a common theme uh, to, to ask them about a specific mode of image making and ask them a common question, what is the role of images in your research? This all seems pretty straightforward in the beginning. However, we have been getting some pretty surprising results. Matthew and I began our collaboration while we were still undergraduates at Rhode Island School of Design, where we worked on books, posters, and various graphic ephemera for the Department of Architecture. When we parted ways to pursue graduate studies in more architecture, um, we, realized, uh, we realized that all around us, um, we, there were amazing work done by image makers, such as artists sampling lichen, graphic designers hacking scanners, historians becoming filmmakers. All of their practices inspire our projects and creative processes in various dramatic ways. However, they're all, they all work in dis different disciplines, and they work, submit to different journals, and they speak to different audiences. And we discovered that it's just impossible to, to have the abundance of images and still be able to understand the uh, techniques and technologies that go into image making. In addition, the art and design journals that were available to us at that time are fairly institutional, institutionally bound. Um, there, there tend to be annual publications geared towards existing audiences already within those disciplines. So we wanted something different, an alternate format, something faster, cheaper, easier to experiment with, and preferably had a high circulation in a, ve in a fairly uncensored manner. So we started producing this new newspaper props weekly and posting it wherever that we were allowed to, and in some cases where we were not allowed to. Um, so, for instance, in issue seven, Leopold Lambert, an architect and editor of the Funambulist magazine, focused on two images from Palestine. One from the present, uh, from a ph Palestinian photographer who was being targeted, featuring a series of photographs of a tear gas canister shot directly at him, and a postcard image from the future produced by Lambert that is an imaginary of a post-apartheid Palestine. For Lambert, images had the ability to become evidence, and it, images allowed uh, an ability to, for viewers to be projected into a political imaginary. Coincidentally, this issue was created in November 2016 at the dawn of a Trump America, and in our despair, we quoted Rock's Media Collective's The State Equals Many Sons of Bitches on our front cover um, as a loud SOS and also a uh, deep rallying cry for uh, deeper contemplation on the types of media we consume, and in particularly, our images. Lydia Kalapoliti, an architect, engineer, and writer, captured the sentiment um, perfectly in the upcoming issue, themed on X-ray bodies, in which, uh, quote, she argued, in a perturbed new world of post-truth, images can be powerful tools of battle, and that the design of images as a form of resistance has perhaps acquired civilization value. In our attempt to explore the technical and aesthetic aspects of image making, we have discovered a greater desire within ourselves, and I think it's also true within our contributors, to have an opportunity to address images directly, especially the images that we use, produce, and circulate, and the ways that they affect our lives. Whether they are virtual reality game designers using images as a waypoint to break the fourth wall, or a cosmologist um, generating images using neural networks to uh, calculate the deformations in gravitation, gravitational lensing, or an artist exploring new interfaces through drawing and um, uh, image making by drawing with a robot called Doug, or a biochemist engineering colorful bacteria to uh, find better treatment for biofilm-related diseases. Um, we, we see that as all, all an opportunity to showcase amazing work that was being done in image research that would otherwise be hidden in, behind screens and labs or in various other disciplinary-bound publications. 
So props paper aspires to be a living cultural archive of how we critically engage images around us and also engage in a discussion around the images that are not only aesthetically pleasing and that look good, um, that are well designed um, by artists and designers, but also um, specifically and more importantly, the images that scrutinize and challenge our traditional ways of knowing. Um, for instance, here, Elizabeth Porter, an associate professor of law at the University of Washington, um, and also a former clerk at the U.S. Supreme Court. Um, she uh, faced the question of the images ha head on in a discipline traditionally feel filled with words, um, especially as a lawyer. And um, so her images that she submitted were tackling systemic racial discrimination um, in a specific criminal case um, that would otherwise be uh, wet, uh, unnoticed if it weren't for a discussion around images. And a lot of the times, the discussion with our contributors continue on after the submission to our publication. And in Elizabeth's case, um, a month later, she sent us an email gossiping about a um, amicus brief submitted to the US Supreme Court, again, on 40 cake images sub uh, submitted by cake artisans, arguing that cake making is an artistic practice. Which is, you can ask me later about this interesting story. Um, so props paper currently is supported by the uh, Council for the Arts at MIT and distributed as independent paper, um, free for the institute and the public. Um, more of our content could be seen on our beautiful website, uh, propspaper.com. And, um, and for, since this is a special occasion and we're all here to celebrate Antenna in its inaugural year, we have produced a, a special issue of Props 25 featuring content from the Y Factory led by architect Vinnie Maas. And um, in this issue, we look at uh, key projects that the Y Factory has done in the past 10 years, including images um, from the projects Green Dream and We Go City um, uh, tailor-made housing. And, um, and our wish is to bring their work to a greater audience, but also ask them how they enga engage images critically. Their response to us is um, a very enthusiastic call for all visionaries, in which they gave examples, and using their work as key examples, of um, architecture and urban design as the production of visions, and imaging, hence imagining, is the first step towards real change. The future of props, we see ourselves producing in various other formats. It could be a hazmat suit, a game, um, a space. We want to provide things and spaces that uh, generate conversations about the images that we make, our cultures, our politics, and our histories. I hope you enjoy this issue and enjoy the rest of Design Week.